<laughs> in a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find the life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Millicent? Yes? Come on. Your family's worried sick. What on earth? Thank God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? Climb on. Let's get you home. Never in all my life. Come on. What's your name, mister? John! John Marston! I've heard... <laughs> like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Uh, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, uh, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite 
my level of experience. <laughs> so... So... You are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> Okay. And what about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. Thanks for helping out. They came out of nowhere. Anytime, partner. Say, you fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My family's in trouble and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train going that way. Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one in the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Amateur! Thanks. I feel like sick. My sector! Hold him out the perimeter! Help! Get the back side! Get the back! Get back! Come on! Out the back! Conserve your ammo! Yeah! Whoa! Help us out here, soldier! Sorry about that. The Yankees still feel the pressure. Hold them out. Oh, you're all 
God, you hell freak! Get him off the train! He stayed dead this time! You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at whoring and drinking. Let's roll out! <laughs>